Hi everyone, uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to discuss how to add Palo Alto image in EVNG. Let's start. Uh, these are the installation steps and I'll give the installation steps in the descriptions as well. And in the first steps, you need to download the Palo Alto image from the official website that is the recommended. And once it is downloaded, then what you have to do, uh, you have to upload this image to your EVE using FileZilla or WinSCP win SAP or uh, any other FTP server that can access your uh, EVNG. Yeah. So I have here, I have uh, downloaded the uh, PAVM ESX and ESX 7.0.1 OVA file for the testing. So let me show you. You can see. So here you can see that I have already have the image. So the next step is you have to uh, untar it because it is in the dot OVA. So once we uh, do the tar XPF, then uh, we will get three files, which is inside the OVA file. This is the command. Yes, currently we have uh, three files uh, .ovf, mf, and .vmdk, and we use this .vmdk file uh, to uh, run our uh, Palo Alto image in the EVNG. Um, but uh, EVNG supports only uh, the .qcow2 format. Uh, we discussed this in our earlier videos also uh, in this uh, same series. Um, so uh, let me convert this uh, vmdk to qcow2. As this EVNG comes up with the qmu image utilities already uh, so it it is easy easy to uh, you know convert the image from vmdk to qcow2 As you can see, so I'm going to use this VMDK file. So this is like VMDK converted to QCO image. So uh, for this image, uh, <coughs> I recognize that uh, this particular format. Make sure that you are following the same uh, name otherwise uh, the eve when it load it will not be able to recognize so you will not be able to get that image up and running yeah so this we discussed in our last video how how it is getting converted and what is the utility so in case if you need i will give you a clue that there is a qmu uh, utilities that you can download in any linux so that it will convert the format from VMDK to QCO2 or QCO2 to, to VVM VMDK or any, any different format that it can convert. So it takes a few seconds. Let's wait. So before it convert, while it is converting, let's discuss the once it is converted, then uh, everything will be straightforward. Uh, we create a new uh, folder uh, slash uh, you know opt unit lab in the QMU because these are the QMU images. So we put this image in the QMU. Once we add this, created this folder first, uh, mkda is the command to create this uh, folder. And once we create, then we move this converted image to this folder. Then we fix the permission. Once it is done, then we can see that image up and running. Yes, it is converted now. We have the image. Let's quickly create 
the folder as well. Minus seven dot zero dot one. I'll show you where the 7.0.1 that, that particular the name the right the same image that we are in where we can use this where it will get displayed in the UR in the web page. Okay, we have created it successfully. Then what we can do we can move this converted image to this part at the end give slash then it will get moved. We can verify that as well. Yes, it is up. So next step is to fix the permission. This now we are done. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to open in a browser. right click click on node then click so here you can see Palo Alto VM firewall so here that's what I'm saying so Palo Alto in case if you have two three images like different versions that you can click here then you can select the uh, what are the, the image that you need so currently I have only one image so it will only uh, you know displaying the only one image in case if I have uh, you know one more image it will show that image as well here Here you can see this is the two CPU and four GB of RAM is needed. So let me it's a VNC connection, it's not SSI, it's a VNC. Okay. Here you can see this, then right click, start, then wait for a few minutes to come up as I told. It takes few minutes to boot up to come up online. Now it is up. You can log in using admin admin. Let me check what is the username password. So I got why uh, you know it was not taking the uh, you know the default username and password admin admin because uh, when it was booting it was in the PA login. So you have the Palo Alto is still booting up. And once you see this PA-VM login, this particular one, then you can consider that it will log in with the default username and password. Then you can change your password to the uh, length of, I think it's eight character. So you can use it. I hope you guys enjoy watching the video and please, uh, you know, subscribe to my channel and like the video, comment and share the difference.